travel, they say, improves the mind. An irritating platitude, which frankly, entre nous, is very far from true. Personally, I've yet to find that longitude and latitude can educate those scores of monumental bores who travel in groups and herds and troops of various breeds and sexes till the whole world reels to shouts and squeals and the clicking of roly flexes. Why do the wrong people travel, travel, travel when the right people stay back home? What compulsion compels them and who the hell tells them to drag their cans to Zanzibar instead of staying quietly in Omaha? The Taj Mahal and the Grand Canal and the sunny French Riviera would be less oppressed if the Middle West would settle for somewhere rather near us. Please do not think that I criticize or cavil at a genuine urge to roam. But why, oh why, do the wrong people travel when the right people stay back home and mind their business when the right people stay back home with Cinerama when the right people stay back home I'm merely asking why the right people stay back home why do the wrong Stay back home What peculiar obsessions Inspire those processions Our family from Houston takes All those cameras around their necks They will take a train or an airplane For an hour on the Costa Brava And they'll see Pompeii on the only day That it's home to in molten lava Millions of tourists are churning up the gravel while they gaze at St. Peter's Dome But why, oh why do the wrong people travel when the right people stay back home with all that Kleenex when the right 